Hello and welcome to Crappy Crafting with Daniel. Um, today, today, uh, well, it's actually night, evening, whatever you want to call it. So there's a lot of Halloween fall crafting videos out. Uh, and I've been looking at them. You know I do. So I am going to attempt one of them. And I discovered this, um, you know, I started this new channel for crafting. And then once I did that, then it started showing me crafting people and all that stuff. So this is, if any of you have heard of Christopher Heidemann, um, I'll put a link down below to his channel. He does like decorating and hauls and, um, does like fall and Christmas and all that stuff. So this was one of his. And what we're going to do is take a little bowl. I got, I actually got this. Uh, you can get them at Dollar Tree, I believe also, but I got this at the restore for 50 cents. So what we're going to do is make a paper mache looking pumpkin out of this. So we'll see. Um, tonight we're just going to get it, get the tissue on it. And that'll be it. So once we go back to paint it and stuff, you'll probably see me in a different outfit and all that stuff because I'm not going to be here that long. It's getting dark. It's it kind of creepy. So we'll hurry this along. We'll do the first step. So the first step is I'm just going to turn it upside down and start working from the bottom to the top. You're just going to take some white tissue. He used brown tissue, but I have white. So that's what we're going to do. And all we're going to do is just um, uh, 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 use some Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge. This is old. I'm hoping it's still good. I haven't used it in a while. So I'll just shake that up. And what we're going to do is, I had a little thing in it. Um, we're just going to put some Mod Podge on here and then we're going to rip our tissue and we're going to put a single layer around. If it doubles up a little bit, that doesn't matter. We're just keeping it in a single layer. So what I'm going to do is just take my handy dandy, oh, I haven't opened this in a while. It's Mod Podge shut. Ah, the smell of Mod Podge. So I'm just using a bigger flat brush and I'm just going right into the Mod Podge. I do have my mat down here, my little Teflon mat, and let me bring you down, and we will just start on this, so come on. All right, so what I'm doing is just applying a liberal amount to the bottom, and I'm going to go around the side real quick. I kind of have to work quick because I do have a fan on right above me, but... Um, so I'm just going to get this first part. We're just going to get a layer on so we can get our tissue on there. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is just take a piece, piece of tissue and I'm just ripping it just any old which way and I'm laying it on there and I'm pushing it down. Now this is bigger than what I wanted. So we're gonna also have to go down a little bit here, um, get our knees here to make sure, and then just start applying the Mod Podge to the top of the tissue. So it's kind of sealing it on there. So, and it doesn't matter if it wrinkles, it just adds um, to the look of paper mache stuff. So just make sure you cover the whole surface of the tissue. So get it on there good. Get on there real good. So I'm just going around where I can see where the glue was on here. And then making sure I cover all that tissue. And then since my pieces, as you can see, are bigger, I'm just going to go down here and spread some down here. And then I'm just going to layer that down like that. Turn it around, and if you can 
same thing here. Just kind of get it up in there and then just use the brush to brush it down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Crappy crafting is for everybody. Anybody can craft. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to look great. It's just a stress reliever and it's fun. So you too can crappy craft. We're just not perfect at this. We're just going along. We're putting glue. This is just fun because this is just glue and things. So let me and if you don't want to work from the bottle, you can put it on a plate or something to see it better. Ah, oh, the air conditioner shut off, so I can hear myself think. So there we go. We're just covering this all up, making sure it is covered. So I would do a little bit less bigger ones than I did, but there you go. You've got on there, you've got everything down, and so we'll just continue working on this around the edges and adding some more tissue. So let's do that. Let's do it. Let's work on this side right here. We'll just add some more right there. And take it down to about there. And we'll just rip off a little piece. And we'll just mod podge it right on there. So if I'm overlapping like that, that's okay. Just try not to like really overlap them a big time. A big time, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Okay, so. And it does get messy. Your fingers will get messy if you don't like to messy craft. Uh, sorry. Sorry for you. <laughs> you will get glue on there you're gonna get paint on there eventually so I'm just going underneath where there is no glue and then once again just shove that glue right on top there and get her down so that's what we're doing easy peasy lemon squeezy let me finish this and I'll come back okay Okay, so I do have it covered, and then around the top, it's upside down. I'm setting on this mat because this mat, it will come up from the mat. We might have to do a little touch up, it might rip some things off. But around the top, I took it over and I modge podged in there and took it over a little bit. So um, it is messy. I have modge podge all over my hands. You could do half if you had the time. Do half, let it dry, then flip it over and do the other half. So that would be a logical thing to do, but videotaping and trying to get out of here, I don't do anything logically. So that is covered. And our next step on the next little clip, we will be painting this. And I'm going to try to follow along with what, what's his name? Christopher did. And we'll see. We'll see how crappy mine looks. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay. So it's another day. Um, there is the done thing. Now there is one thing sticking up, but I don't want to put more glue on that. We're actually going to glue this again from what I can remember from the video. So we'll see if we can make this crappy looking. It's probably not going to look like it did on the video I watched. Um, I probably would have added another layer, honestly. But we're going to paint this. So what we're going to use, we definitely need the... I got... I picked this up. Jack-o'-lantern. Just the cheap little paint at Walmart. So I did get some orange. Uh, I do know we'll be using some yellow. We'll be using some black. And at one point in time, we're going to use brown, but it's going to be mixed in with um, 
Mod Podge to cause an antiquing effect. So anyways, and I'll probably have to stop this video and go watch the video again. <laughs> because he really knows how to paint things up. And I don't have a memory to, you know, last that long. So I'll probably have to stop and see. But I know we can do the initial. What we're going to do is paint orange all over except for we're going to make like a circle here and a circle here for eye and a little smiley face and leave it with the tissue. So I'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit. So um, got my little cutting mat that I also use as a paint mat. So and I keep getting, so I have this upside down and this didn't dry because it was basically sealed shut. So inside here, it's kind of dry and I don't keep the air conditioner on in here neither. So the whole thing is, feels a little bit tacky. But anyways, we're gonna start with the orange. I'm just gonna put the orange on my good old cutting mat. So there's the orange and I'm just using a big brush at the moment because we're just gonna spread this all over and I'm starting in the back where that piece didn't glue down but I think when I paint it, it'll glue it down. So then you just put the orange on there. Since this is cheaper paint and I'm also painting the rim too. I may have to put two coats on here. I don't know. We'll see since it's not thick craft paint. So we're just putting it on, putting it on. Of course, then we'll have to let it dry for our next step. But, and you can paint the bottom too, but I'm gonna let this all dry before I do any bottoms. So we're just painting it up, just putting it on there, going down to the bottom. Make sure you cover all your things. If we're going to put a candle in this, we might not want to do another coat, but we'll have to see how it looks. Because we're going to be adding several layers on this with different things. I'm already sticking my fingers in where they don't belong. So let me set this down. And up here is where we're going to be doing, I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to go ahead and mark out my mouth and my um, eyeballs. Now, he showed round, and if you notice in the old paper mache ones, they are round. They're not like the triangle. So what we're going to do is just take some paint and just make a circle there. And then take some more paint and just make, and they don't have to be perfect because... So there's that, then we will do a triangle for the nose. So there's that, and then we're just going to do like a, if you ever notice on those, they're like a smiley with a rounded corner mouth. So there we go. Doesn't matter that it's crooked or nothing. It'll add to the charm. The crappy crafting charm. The crappy charm. So then since we have those, we'll just finish with the big brush and paint those in. Okay, 
So you get the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. So I'll be back. Okay, because I'm impatient. But what I did was I did two coats. I went ahead and did another coat because I went back and watched the video and he uses chalk paint. Chalk paint's pricey. And this is what I have. This is the crappy crafting version of this project. So, and the other thing, um, I would have made the nose much bigger <laughs> and the mouth much bigger. So, but it is what it is. We're gonna have fun with it. Now what we're gonna do is outline the nose, the mouth, the, the um, eyes with black, and we're gonna add some little lines and stuff. This is my version of it. Like I said, he'll be linked down below. Go watch how it really should look. Okay. So let's get some black on here. Let's see if we can get this brush to work right. This is what I'm gonna use. It's a pretty big round brush, you know. But these paper mache things, they had big old lines. So what I'm doing is just going to outline, and my orange paint is still wet. Let's see what we can do here. So let's just outline, outline. I don't care if the lines are not straight, because you know, if you look at those paper mache things, they were funky. So. There's the eye, here's the other eye, and I can't do a perfect circle anyways. Plus this is crafty crafting. Do we want it perfect? I don't think so. That kind of looks like a skeleton. All right, so let's do something with this pitiful little bitty nose. So we can make it look a little bit bigger. Somewhat bigger, not much. Okay, and then we're going to do the, I'm gonna start at each corner so I can round these. And then I'll finish round, there we go. And then I'll just finish it up here. I guess it would help if I put my glasses on. I might be able to draw a straighter line. I doubt it, but... And this is great because then you have a fake paper mache glass pumpkin. And you will have made it and made it look vintage-y. Or crappy in my case. Okay. There it is. See, it's not very good, but that adds to the great, wonderful cuteness of it. Okay, so we're not done with that neither. Now I'm going to take this little bitty bitty brush. It's a little square brush. So I'm gonna use that because he put like a full uh, black flame shape. So I'm going to see if I can do a black flame shape. That is not a black flame shape. I'm sorry, Daniel, but it's not. Okay. 
Yeah. Is what it is. Now, we also need, I'm not going to use this because I don't like that brush. I'm going back to that round brush. And we need lines, like teeth in the mouth. And he once again used brown tissue paper, and I probably should have used brown tissue paper. Because the mouth looks really see through. But there we go. Look at that cute little awesome face. Okay, so now we're going to, I don't know, give him some eyebrows. Give him some Joan Crawfords. Eyebrows! He looks scared. And then... The dude gave some lines up here. I guess like a smile line. So we'll do that. Smile line. And then he did um, two little lines over here. I guess these would be laugh lines. One up, one curved down, one curved up. One curve down. And then I think he did like a line here, a mustache. I think he did a line down here and a line here. It's my pumpkin. I'm gonna add another line over here. And another line over here. Because I want to. And then it seemed like he did something around the nose. What did he do? Did he do a line here and a line here? Yeah. That looks horrible. <laughs> horrible I love it okay so enough of the black I guess for now I don't I can't remember what all he did now he probably did a lot more than that so I know that's still wet but hey now we're gonna take this I don't have yellow yellow I just have this gold so we're gonna work with that use a little bit of white because he said he did a lighter yellow for the lines and stuff because he added even more lines so let's let's so he put I'm just using a really thin brush so he put yellow in the middle of the eyes. Oh, cool. I kind of like that. So then what he did was mix, or he had a lighter yellow, he said. So let's just mix some of this white and some of this yellow. Gold, I should say. I'm just mixing it on the brush. Just mixing it till 
I'm thinking, you know, about that color. Somewhere around there. So he did stuff like, uh, he went like with the eyebrows. That was a lot of paint. And he did some here and here. I think he did here. He did another line there. A line there. And I'm assuming he probably did it here. And here. And here. And since I added my own, we'll do one here. And here. Hopefully this will all come together. I don't know. And then I'm going to do one in there. And then he did like little little things here. He did some dots left around me by the eyeballs. I'm just gonna add some bags over the eyes because that's how I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I need something. Are you going to do these? So now what we're going to do is do lines up and down, you know, like pumpkins have. So just going down, I need a bigger brush for this. This doesn't seem to be doing what I want to do. You know, like pumpkins have their lines. I probably need my bigger brush. Dang it. We're gonna make it work though. We're just gonna work with it. And let's just add some more white in, some more gold, and try to get that same color going. Let's go up. Let's go down. Up. Vary the heights of them. And it's gonna be long. That's going to go here. So we have some lines going on. And I want to make some of these better. Better, bolder, bigger. Beautiful. And that's a great thing about this. You can be sloppy. It just adds to the look of what those antique paper mache. Maybe not quite as cute as they are, but it's it's all right. A little sad, scary looking, I don't know, ate something wrong kind. Now, here's the deal. This has to dry. And then um, we put a coat of Mod Podge with just a little bit of brown and we go around that all over again. And then after that, we take some water with a little bit of black and then we just kind of let that ooze over so it looks old and crusty and antique-y. So, let me let this dry and then we will work on doing that stuff. So be back. Okay, let's finish this up. Um, it's still kind of wet. I don't know how bad this is gonna be. We'll do this part first, so maybe it won't. You want it to be completely dry. Let me put it that way, or otherwise it's gonna smear, but I, I, I'm ready to take off. So I need to finish that so we can have a video. 
So what I'm gonna do is pour some Mod Podge into my little container here. About as much as I think that will take to cover the pumpkin. And then there's no specifics on it, but I guess just a little bit of brown, you're gonna be mostly Mod Podge. So there's my amount of Mod Podge. And I'm just letting it drip. I don't know how much to do. So I put about that much in. Let's take our brush and let's stir it up. I'm thinking maybe that was a little too much brown. Looks like chocolate syrup. I don't think his looked that brown. Let's see about adding some more Mod Podge. We just want to, I guess, look kind of like an antiquing, if you've ever seen an antiquing glaze. That's basically what this is going to look like, so I need it a little bit lighter. But I'm not adding any more because I'm not wasting my podge. My podge. Okay. So you want just the slightest. Do not put as much brown in as I did. So I don't know what this is going to look like, but that's what mine looks like. And we're going to use it. I'm done. I'm done. Crappy crafting with Daniel. Here we go. Please don't smear all over the place paint. So we're just putting this on like this. And this is supposed to dull the color down to make it look more antique. So I don't think that's too bad. I would definitely just go one way. Ooh, look there. See, my paint wasn't dry. So I am just getting that brown, that black off of there. And I'm definitely not gonna go back over that. Make sure your paint is dry. So this is gonna look horrible because my paint is not dry. So you know what, those streaks are just gonna add to it. So I do have streaks because my paint was dry. I don't care. Make sure your paint's dry. It's gonna happen with the yellow too, so I'm just doing a thick coat and taking it down. And then I'm not going to do it, but so I'm fine with this. This is frustrating me just because I didn't let the paint dry. That's my fault. I didn't do it. See, it's just getting all over. What happened? I say that and I'll want to throw this in the trash when I'm done with it. Right, crappy crafters, do you get that way? I get that way a lot. So, we are done. So, I'm going to let that dry so it'll you know, antique like it's supposed to, supposedly. And so I'm done. This is what it looked like. <laughs> okay, so 
what lessons did we learn on this? Um, use a brown tissue paper, a tan brown. Um, use chalk paint. Let your paint completely dry before you do the other steps. And then after you put this brown thing on, he said you could do mainly just water and just the tattest bit of black and that would even age it more. We're good with the tea. We're good with the coffee. We're good with the coffee. So um, those are things that I would do if I were you. I would make sure to let your paint dry, especially. Just saying. I'm just saying. Sorry, I'm going around the top. And if you like the bright color, you don't even have to do that step. If you don't want to antique it, don't. There was just, there, he was just trying to make it look more like the paper mache, the antique ones. So, there we have it. So, if you like this crappy craft, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe because it's joyful over here on Crappy Crafting. We do professional style crafting. Anyways, you too can do crappy crafting. See how imperfect things can be and it is just fine. It's just the fun of creating and making something and then moving on to the next project. So, um, there we go. Thanks for spending the day with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!